What is up you guys? My name is Brianna and today I'm going to share with you guys how to get this really fun dark green smoky eye with like a little hint of lavender to it using of course the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Strawbreaker palette which is literally one of my all time favorites in my collection and this palette is literally so much fun and I gotta say if you would like to see my original review on this palette or all of the other looks I have done with it I'll link a playlist in the description box down below for you. For today's video though, we're going to be doing kind of like a chit chat get ready with me. I don't know, I was in a chatty mood today, so that is what we're going to be doing. And before we jump into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page, it is at lethal underscore kitten. So before we even jump into the palette, as always, we gotta prime our eyelids first. I'm just going to go in with my ABH eye primer. So the palette that we are going to be using today is of course the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker palette and I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. I went through my makeup collection this morning and I could not figure out like which palette I wanted to use. I don't know why but it was like a whole thing this morning and I saw this one out of the corner of my eye and I was like you know what let's just go in with a classic because this is one of those palettes for me I always like to use and I know a lot of you guys out there have this one too and overall every time I use it I just have a lot of fun so I was like why not use it again. And also, Jeffree just recently launched a brand new collection, and I think we're going to talk about that today because I have a lot I want to say about it. But the first color that we are going to be going in with is this beautiful sunshine yellow, and it is called Wow. And then using this Morphe J06 brush, I'm going to be applying that yellow right into my crease, and then doing these little circular motions to blend that upwards towards my brow, and I'm going really far with this shadow today. And I'm also using it to round out my outer V. And keep in mind, we are going to be doing something really dramatic, so you really want to blow out this shadow super far. I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys asking me my opinion on the new collection, and I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. I'm just not excited about the palette, and also the price point being $58, like, I don't know, I'm just not really wowed by it. And even like the packaging, like, I just kind of find it bland. I know a lot of people really like it, and if you're really into Jeffree Star, you're going to probably like everything that he launches, but for me, I'm just... I wasn't as impressed as I thought I was going to be because like when I think of a gothic palette like I think of like these really dark rich colors, jewel tones, and like a cathedral kind of vibe and this one just did not give me that. So the next shade that we're going to be going in with is this really pretty green shade in the palette called Sour. And I'm just going to be applying that shade right into my crease using this Morphe M433 brush and then doing these little circular motions blend that into the yellow and also using it to round out my outer V. This shade Sour is honestly one of the ones that I have the hardest time using in this palette. I don't know what is up with it, but a lot of times it just gets kind of dusty for me and it just kind of gets patchy. So I'm hoping that this time around it works for me because I've never had a really good experience with it. Even when I have like packed it down, it just kind of gets chunky monkey. But so far I think it's acting pretty good. I just have to keep on layering it up, which honestly I don't really find is a big deal. I know some people don't like layering up their shadows, but I find that when I can layer them up, I get a lot better of a blend. So once you have that applied and blended out, the next shade that we are going to be going in with is this really pretty darker blue shade, which is the darkest one in the palette called Delicious. And then I'm just going to go in with this Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush, and I'm going very, very lightly with this shade, because it can be kind of tricky to blend out. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. So you definitely want to do the less is more approach. And I'm just applying it into that crease, rounding out my outer V, and then doing these little circular motions blended up to that green mixture. So I'm just going to slowly build this baby up to where I want it to be, because I don't want like a super like dark blue moment right here, I just want to darken up that green. This is so much darker than what I had planned, but you know what? On this channel, we love dark green smoky eyes, we love grungy looks, so it is all good on our end. But at the same time, like, this is just a lot different than what I had planned. But off camera, I'm just going to quickly cut my crease and use that ABH eye primer. You can also use concealer, I just prefer this. So after cutting the crease, as you can see, we got that harsh line right here, and we want everything all nice and blended and seamless, and we can't do that with that line. So I'm just going to take this brush out of the Marble Luxe set from BH Cosmetics. I don't know the number of it because it washed off. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of Delicious and start packing it right in that outer V. And once you have it packed in there, I'm going to start flicking it inwards just to help it blend into the lid shade that we're going to use in a minute. So once you have that outer V all nice and finesse, now we're going to start working on the rest of the lid. And I kind of want to do something a little bit different today. So we're going to go in with this shade called Gumdrop. 
Then using this flat shader brush, I'm just going to be packing Gumdrop anywhere that that base is still showing. And when I'm applying it, I'm really making sure that I am pressing it in. Just to make sure we get the full on pigmentation that we're looking for. Today I just wanted to try something a little bit different because normally with this type of green look, I would go in with like a yellow shimmer on the lid, a blue shimmer, green shimmer, or even like a white gold. I would never really gravitate towards a purple. But I saw that purple and I was like, man, that might look really cool next to that dark blue. I'm so happy that we did it because I think they look super sick next to each other. And I'm also just taking whatever is left on my brush and slightly going over that dark blue that we applied in the outer V, just to help everything blend together. Now, I'm just saying, if you've never tried out a dark green smoky eye with a lavender on the lid, you are missing out. Like, this is a really fun color combination, and it just looks really interesting, in my opinion. Like, I cannot recommend trying it out enough. So for liquid liner today, I want to do something a little bit different. So we're going to go in with these cake liners from the Norvina collection from Anastasia. And I really want to try out this purple one right here. And also, if you'd like to see swatches of these, I'll have it linked in the description box down below for you. But I feel like the purple is going to be super cool with this look. So to apply the purple, the brush that I'm going to be using is from Sigma. This is an E11 eyeliner brush. So for mascara today, I'm just going to go in with this one from Benefit. It is Bad Gal Bang. I really like this mascara. You guys are definitely right. Like, this one's super good. I just love how volumizing it is. It just looks so pretty. So for lashes today, I'm just going to go in with one of my favorites, which is Lily Lashes in the style CEO. So for face primer today, I'm just going to go in with this one from Milk the Hydro Grip, and I feel like everybody and their mother talks about this one, but it's really nice. It's super hydrating too. I'm doing about a pump and a half. Oh, this one feels so cooling though. Like, it feels really good. So for foundation today, I'm just going to use one that I have been literally obsessed with lately, and that one is from NYX. This is the Born to Glow, and I'm going to go in with shade Light Porcelain, but if you've never tried out this foundation, you need to try it out. Like, it's really nice. But I will say if you have oily skin, you probably won't like it. It just has such a beautiful like skin-like look to it on the face. Like I'm obsessed. And also it's like a $10 foundation. Like this one literally looks like a $40 foundation in my opinion. And then I'm just going to blend it out using my Morphe sponge. Do you see what I mean though? It just looks so nice on the face. Like if you're looking for a really good drugstore foundation and you haven't tried this one out, you definitely should. Like, it's really, really nice. They also have a lot of shades, too. Man, this, like, blends in like butter. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like drugstore makeup recently has really upped their game, like, in the last couple of years. Because, I mean, like, before drugstore makeup, it was okay, but it was really hit and miss. And now it acts, like, as if it was, like, $30, $40 makeup. You know, stuff that you can find at Sephora. Like, I'll be honest, a lot of times I actually prefer my drugstore makeup. Like, it's really surprising. Because I used to be one of those people that wasn't really into drugstore makeup. But the last couple of years, I have been obsessed. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a full face of drugstore makeup. Because if you guys would like to see it, I'd be so down to film it. And then for cream contour, we're just going to go in with my favorite, which is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Matchstick in the shade Amber. Like, I've been trying out different contours lately, but like every time I try those, I just want to use this one instead. Because I just love the color of it. And it literally blends out almost instantly. Then I'm just going to start blending this out using a different side of that Morphe sponge. But I've noticed with a lot of contour sticks, especially from the drugstore, they're just really warm. They almost look like a cream bronzer on me. Just because I'm so fair and I have a really pink undertone. It's really hard to find one though that is like super, super cool toned. Or even like remotely cool toned. Because I mean, I don't mind like a little bit of bronze, but sometimes I just want like that really nice chiseled contour look. I'll be honest, like, after trying this Fenty one, like, I've just really stuck with it. Because it just, it has a really nice color to it. It blends out really nice. And also, a little bit of product goes a long way. And it just has, like, the perfect amount of pigmentation to it. It's not super intense, but you can also build it up. So for concealer, I'm just going to go in with this one from NYX. It is the Born to Glow from the same line as the foundation. And this one is in shade Fair. And I'm just going to dot it, like, mostly right in the inner corner of my eye. Ooh, that is creamy. I haven't used this one in a hot minute, but it's really full coverage. Then using that same Morphe sponge, I'm just going to start blending this baby out. 
Do you see what I mean though? It just looks really nice underneath the eyes. And if you're looking for something that isn't drying and also super full coverage, I would definitely recommend trying this one out. Because it's like hydrating, but it's not too hydrating. Sometimes I feel like hydrating concealers, like they just crease really, really bad on me. And this one doesn't at all. So for loose powder today, I'm just going to go in with this one from ABH, and I'm going to go in with shade Vanilla. I know a lot of people like translucent, but I find that vanilla gives me a little bit more of a blurring effect. And I'm just going to use that Morphe sponge again and start applying this right in the areas where we did the concealer. Because those are the areas that, if I'm going to crease, they're going to crease like right away. And I'm really like pressing it into, I don't do swiping motions because then you'll get rid of like the foundation and the concealer. You just want to keep on like stippling it in. I really need to start using that Born to Glow concealer though. Like she's pretty and super nice. I forgot how nice that looked underneath the eyes. Because I've been so hooked on Shape Tape for the last couple of months, I kind of forgot about this one. But man, it's really nice looking. So for powder contour today, I'm just going to go in with this pal from Koki. I really love this one. It's really nice. And I'm going to mix these two lighter shades right here. I'm just going to be applying this in the areas where we apply that Fenty Matchstick, just to help bring a little bit more color back into my face. This will also help give us a really nice kind of like warmth back into our face too. I kind of want a gothic fantasy moment with this look today, so for lipstick we're going to go in with this one from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and this one is in the shade Weirdo, which is the black one. I seriously forgot how much I absolutely love Weirdo, like literally the best black liquid lipstick I have ever used. But now we're going to start working on the lower lash line and I'm going to line my waterline using this pencil from Appeal. And this is the shade Force Green. And before that pencil liner sets and dries down, I'm going to use this Morphe M431 brush with a little bit of sour on it. And I'm just going to start smoking this downwards. So for the inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go back into the palette and use this shade called Jawbreaker. Then using this little brush from Moda, I'm going to be packing the shit out of this into my inner corner. And I'm also bringing it underneath the inner tear duct area to open up the eye. Oh yeah, that is a pretty pretty inner corner highlight. We're definitely going to have to build it up a little bit though, because I do want it super crazy blinding. And let's do our second layer. Yeah. This was definitely it. Like, this is such a pretty color. And then for blush today, I'm just going to use this one from Buxom. It is from the Wanderlust collection and is in shade Havana. And I'm just going to be stippling it onto my cheekbones using this Morphe M405 brush. It's kind of like an angled contour brush. I'm going to warn you though, these blushes are really intense, so you do want to tap off the excess on the back of your hand before you apply it, especially if you're not like super crazy into a lot of blush because these ones are really, really pigmented. And today, I'm not going to go super crazy with the blush either. I just want like a little bit for balance reasons. And last but not least for a highlighter today, I'm just going to go in with one of my favorites from ColourPop, and this is Flexitarian. It is literally like the most beautiful shade of gold. Like if you're into like a blinding highlight and you love like a glittery wet sheen, you should try this one if you haven't. And I'm just going to apply it to my cheekbones using this Jeffree Star X Morphe JS4 highlighting brush. I'm also kind of curving it around my eye too. But do you see what I mean though? Like she's a beautiful highlight. And also I think this one is under like $10 too. Like I seriously cannot recommend this one enough. Like if you're into this type of highlight, you will love it. Like the formula is amazing. And I just realized I just am hitting pan on it. I don't know if you can see, but like there's like a little dot of the pan right here. And that kind of bums me out. But at the same time, it's been a long time since I've panned a product. So I think that kind of says something. Because I don't know about you guys, but normally I go through like my cream products, you know, like my cream contour, my foundation, my concealer. I never really go through like highlighters or blushes or even eyeshadow palettes. So this is actually kind of making me a little happy that I've actually used a lot of it. I'm getting my money's worth. But girl though, like this highlight, oh, she's pretty. And I just cannot get enough. Like drench me in Flexitarian as soon as possible. So here's the 
used the finished look using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Palette and oh my gosh, like I love how this turned out. It's very like grungy, it has like a dark kind of glam to it. I am literally so obsessed with it and I didn't even know I could do these dark green smoky eyes with this palette either. Like I don't know, like I think it turned out really cool. And if you've never done lavender with dark green, I cannot recommend that combination enough. It is seriously so much fun. I keep on looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, why did I stop wearing black lipstick? Like, it just has such a cool look to it. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like black lipstick is just like one of those colors. It just is so intriguing to me. But in the comments down below, let me know if you'd like to see more looks using the Jawbreaker palette because if you guys would like to see them, I'd be happy to film them. But as always though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page, it is at lethal underscore kitten. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!